All right, Steve, uh, TV host and comedian Bill Maher on the attack once again, this time attacking Sarah Palin's daughter, Bristol, on the release of her new book. Bristol claims that the night she lost her virginity, she had accidentally gotten drunk on wine coolers that she didn't know contained alcohol and then, bl <laughs> and then blacked out and didn't remember a thing. Oh, the Palins. I tell you, the doesn't fall far from the bat. Bristol, just admit it. You were horny. And while we're at it, stop claiming that you were on birth control pills that didn't work when you got pregnant. Here's a tip, hon. They're not birth control pills if they're shaped like Fred Flintstone. All right, are these attacks called for? What would prompt him to speak that way about a young woman and not about other people. Let's ask Dr. Keith Ablo, a psychiatrist and Fox News contributor, joining us right now from Boston with his reaction. You heard what you could that we couldn't, that we had, that we didn't have to bleep out. What's your take? Is this a comedian going off trying to get laughs? No, look, this guy needs his head examined, so it's good that you called me in. Uh, bottom line is, here's a guy you have to understand. Her book's called Not Afraid of Life. Here's a guy who not, never saw a life that he didn't question for euthanasia for the death penalty, for abortion. This is somebody who's not affiliated with life at all. No children. Uh, so you have to look at him and say, you know what, why is he so hostile toward women? He has a deep-seated, it seems, hatred, to some extent, of women. Frequents the Playboy Mansion. All the girls that he dates, the women he dates, they have to be supermodels. The bottom line is, you really got to wonder, is he projecting right. onto her? I mean, but the thing that gets me is not so much the attack, it's the hatred that's behind it. I mean, it almost bleeds out of his Absolutely. eyes and ears. And that, that's what I'm getting. Also, you can fact in his movie, the documentary, Religiosity, where he's anti-religion as well. Anti-religion. Don't forget, he said that suicide bombers at 9-11 were more heroic than American servicemen. This is someone very closely affiliated with not loving the birth not regard, having regard for life, and therefore, I would say, having it in for women. He says elsewhere in the tape that basically the way that people are born is that babies drop out of them. He's very much divorced from the beauty of the birth experience. He doesn't say, Bristol, admit it, you had feelings for this young man. No, you were horny. See, he wants to think women are sluts. That's his view of the world. Interestingly, his mother, who happened to have been Jewish, denied her religion until his teen years. So you wonder what kind of ascendance was in operation mm -hmm. in that family. Was the male so far above the female that he's internalized this? Right. And what does it say about uh, a society that this guy is still on the air and gets paid a ton of money to act like this? Has it in for right. women? Uh, doesn't like the notion of birth, embraces death, like suicide bombers. Very simple. All right. Uh, and, doctor, we should charge him for this because you just gave him a quick diagnosis. Now he has a, it's up to him to get I treatment. I have sent a bill. All right. Fantastic. Because this could have taken six months. And make it a lot of money because HBO is a pay service. <laughs> uh, dr. Keith, thanks so much Sounds for joining good, us from Brian. Boston. See you soon.